just want to show everyone uh, you can clearly see look it says 49 cc 49.9 cc and this one says 49 centimeters cubed um, so yeah you can you can clearly see there's a reason why they're they're uh, they must be using the same mold for both and here it is I had a look at the the honing that looks very good you can see look at there's a big difference now, just to make sure that they are the same Fifty-one, and that's fifty-one as well. Yeah, so they will. It's a straight fit from one to the other, so there should be no issues there. Um, just a, a clip on. I'm gonna actually assemble the manifold as well. The intake manifold onto this, seal it up nicely, put the the studs in for the exhaust, um, assemble as much as possible, put the rings on the on on the piston. Um, as you can see, there's. There's three rings to go on this. There's a there's an inner ring, um, there's a little inner ring that goes in. Then you've got your your normal ring goes on, and then you've got your outer ring. So that that'll be next. And I put one clip in, so I only have to do one on the bike. Um, I got a new bearing, just because I wasn't sure of the condition of the original, um, and the original one is quite loose. So uh, it's quite. It, there's actually parts of it that are quite worn as well. So that was a good call. So it's only. I, I think it was only a euro, one ninety nine. I think was the 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 this bearing. But um, yeah, you might as well with this kind of thing. You might as well. You might as well put in um, all new parts if you can. Um, like I said, this one's twenty three years old. So there's no there's no uh, no reason why you would you would, you wouldn't spend the extra one or two euro. Um, so what I will do. Initially, what I will do is, I will jet the carburetor. I will, um, I will increase the main jet, um, and and we will do that. We'll increase the fuel, and it's not just for speed. You actually need more fuel to keep this engine cool now. Um, as you know, with two strokes, there's a there's an oil oil fuel mixture, and that actually keeps the engine cool. So, if if you ran this engine. Um, dry you could actually you could actually destroy this so it's quite important that we uh, jet it so what I'll do is I'll use the the highest jet I have um, now my setup on the Del Rotto uh, 12 mil carburetor um, my current setup my main jet is at 56 so I'm gonna go to 70 and then I'll work my way down to make sure I get I get the right one um, I'll break the engine in, and when the engine's broken in, I'm gonna actually put in a bigger carburetor then, um, and let it run. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because the the carburetor actually hasn't arrived yet, so I don't want to get this thing going. So it it'll be fine on the bigger jet. It, it won't obviously run as good as the the larger carburetor, the 19 mil carburetor I'm gonna put into this, but um, it'll be good enough just to break it in because I, I don't want, I don't want to go too mad on when I'm breaking this in. I got this from the same crowd so um, I got the, the jets from the same crowd and um, so it all kind of came in as a kit um, all uh, all shipped at around 100 euro I think 102 was the price so what wasn't wasn't too bad it won't break the bank um, okay well let's 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 assemble this and um, and put it on the bike and see what happens okay let's assemb assemble this so these are the rings that come with it. Like I said, there's three of them. This one here is, is easy enough. It just goes straight on. Now just be careful of the chamfer and actually be careful with the rings that you don't um, you don't put them under too much strain. Well, I might take the gloves off for this. Need a bit more dexterity on this one. Okay, so that's that. It goes on the bottom one of the two. So there's one side, there's the other. Let's go drive it just align it a little bit better. Yeah. Just kind of get it as middle as possible of the of the chamfer. 
okay. Looks okay. Now, the rings, they go on this way up. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me see if I can zoom this in a little bit. Okay, so the ring. The ring only goes on one way. So you see there's a they're kind of cut at an angle and it's to fit around the chamfer. So when it actually is the ring is fully compressed, it actually closes that gap. And as you see the two the two chamfers are actually offset. So that's to give you the, the maximum compression there on that point. Just some dirt there. What I don't want to do is I don't want to damage this in any way. A little, a little movement on. Okay. So you put the ring on. Put the piston quite down. Find where your chamfer is, so you don't have to spread it or move it around, and just gently move it on. Now, it's obviously going to clip on the first one first. Now, just be very gentle with this. on the first one and we're just going to skip it and drop it back down another one okay now it's actually going to pass it if you see that now it's clipped in now the ring is on it there you go, and as you see, when it closes in, it closes that gap in. So it's going to be nice and tight. Now, the same way with this one, just make sure your orientation, because these rings, they're not, they're not easy to, um, to take off. Now, there are markings on the rings as well. Um, there is a little T on the marking. I don't think you can see it, but there's a little T here. Um, they're both marked the same, so it doesn't, doesn't actually matter which one which one you use. So the same as before, I start at the back a little bit like that and I just spread them a tiny bit. Like I said, don't put them under too much pressure. Um, if you take your time, it'll go on nicely. Now. One, two, and they're in. So that's great. So we have one, we have the other. So that's that one side done. Now, what I said to you is, I'm gonna put one clip in, so I don't have to worry about it. So the arrow points to the exhaust, which is this way on the bike. So the arrow points that way. I have a cover on this side, so I'm gonna put this clip in, and I'm gonna put the pin in from that side. And um, there's my pin, there's my new bearing. So what I gotta do is put one of these pins in. These pins don't strike me as a quality pin, to be honest. And this is probably one of the most important parts of the engine, is this pin. I've had these break before on me. Um, and these are impossible to take out. Once you put them in, they're impossible to take out. Um, so yeah, they just clip on there. They just go in there. Um, I wouldn't be surprised now if I broke this pin. They're, they're probably the lowest quality pins I've ever used. Now, you see that it goes in there. Now, I'm going to add along those pliers for this. Now, they should be quite elastic, so. Hmm. Yeah, they're not great. 
just show you, just out of curiosity, this is the original pin that comes out of it. You can you actually have a point to grab on this and put it in nicely. That's the original pin that came out of the the Minarelli engine, the, the Yamaha. Um, so that's the genuine pin. This is the kit pin. Not a great pin. Again, I don't want to I don't want to bend it, distort it too much, or break it. Now if I break it, it's not the end of the world, I can get a new pin, but um worse is if you if you distort it on the way in. And then hmm, it's so far in I can't seem to find the, the, the ledge. Now oh, there she is. Through the ledge. Quite fiddly this, trying to do this on the bike, the other side of this, and you'll see how, how hard it's going to be. Now, let's compress it and see if we can, can get that pin in. Gosh, I end up damaging the piston. They're not great, they're not great, I have to say. See if I can put it in this way. No. I said the other one you just you just put it in and you have it you have an edge where you can turn it. This particular pin is no edge. Now I did the same size pins, but I reused the original pin. They actually are. Could potentially reuse the pin. These pins could be okay. Just see, yeah, it is okay that pin. You see that? That goes in nicely. Then all you do is you grab, you grab it like this, and you just push it in. And it's in. The other one seems to be lost the edge on it. Like I said, trying to do this on the bike might be one reason why you take the engine out. Some of these I've always done these on the bike, I've never actually had to take the engine out for this. pin. I don't understand why they didn't just make it at the edge. Going so far. Hmm. This is not doing anything. It's important that this doesn't fail because if this fails, you're walking home. I 
the guy. I've distorted it so much now that it's probably not gonna work. Now I'm gonna put this pin in. So I've just put one side of the pin in and I'm gonna try and roll the bottom of it inside. scratch the, the piston or the rings the pins that come with this kit are probably the worst pins I've seen They're real hard obviously a good reason for them to be hard but and do this on the bike. Mission impossible. Okay, I'm gonna try and reuse the original pin. Use the same trick. Put it in. Does that actually sit into the Now with this one, it's a little bit easier because you can grab it and you can kind of curl it. Okay, I need about five hands to do this. And that pin there. What I'm actually going to do I'm going to put this inside and that will stop it from going too far back. That'll have something, an edge. completely curled so what I'll do is I'll push this in and hold it try and push the pin in from the other side yep. that's clipped in it's clipped in on one side it's clipped in on the other side and I'm just gonna turn it to make sure that it's in all the way Okay, now, it's important that this pin sits in nicely. Now, that looks pretty good. We just have one more. And that one will have to be done on the bike. bring this to the bike and let's put it on the bike now before we put it in I suggest align these as much as you can as you see that this one's moved because we were messing and then I'm gonna put some oil I have some two-stroke oil there I'm just gonna put some oil in here even though there is a little bit of oil just to make life easier when you when you're putting it in for the assembly point um, we want to make sure that it, um... oh, one last thing, make sure the receiver side on the engine, this is all clean, there isn't all gasket or anything else like that left over, if there is you might, um, your gasket wants it flush and you'll end up with, um, with having issues, so 
Okay, that's one pin. I'm gonna actually borrow the pin from the original one. There it is. It seems like a, a much more quality product than, than what we're left with here now. So I'll take this one out and I'll reuse that one as well. There was nothing wrong with these pins, they just um but the the new ones that came with it were an absolute disaster. So there's the pin, there's nothing wrong with it, like I said. So I'm gonna reuse it. Um they look like they're good quality, they're not damaged or anything else like that. So, so that's fine. These ones here, absolute disaster. Okay, let's put it back on the bike. Okay, before I bring the engine over, before I bring the cylinder over, I'm gonna install these studs first. Um it's just for my exhaust. So they just screw straight in. Um what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna screw them in. They're a size 10. Um, Like I said, you might as well order these as part of the kit. Um, just makes your life easier. Trying to extract the old ones might be might be hard. That one, and it's off. Okay, so two of them are on. Did you see that? I next pop the piston on. My bearing, my piston, my pin. Um, and then I put that on 